All right, I have some information to share with you today that every single home buyer needs to understand. And I'm, I'm confident that every homeowner needs to understand this as well. The media is not going to help you with this. Neither are your friends, your family members, or your coworkers. They're gonna all get this wrong because they're getting their information from the wrong source. Are we heading toward a housing crash or is the housing market just cooling off? Let me start with asking you this. Do you think that the housing market over the last two, three, four years was kind of running like a wildfire out of control? I think the answer is yes. Anyone that's been alive as an adult over the last couple of years understands that had the housing market continued to increase and appreciate at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent like it has, very few people would actually qualify to purchase a home in the Seattle area. So cooling off right now is much different than a crash. A crash is where you have a lot of homes for sale and very few people that actually want to buy those homes. We have very limited homes for sale right now and we have more than enough people that want to buy those homes. Here's what I mean by that. In June of 2020, last month, homes listed in King, Pierce, and Snohomish County sold for 100 to 102 percent of list price versus sales price. That means they sold in 20 days or less for exactly what they were listed at, maybe a little bit more. That is not a sign of a crash. Okay, number two, we have builders that since the 1940s, every 10 years, they average building about 20 million, 20 to 25 million homes over a 10 year span. Over the last 10 years, our builders are at 5.8 million homes built in the US. They're behind. They're behind by a lot. You take that combined with, we have the largest generation population of home buyers, the millennial population, well-qualified millennials, 140 million of them right now in America coming into the housing market in 2022 and 2023. We're gonna have plenty of people that wanna buy and we still have a lack of homes for those well-qualified buyers to buy. Okay, the third thing, mortgage rates have gone up from 2.625 to 5.875 over the last six months and we're still sustaining a solid housing market, okay? So people are saying rising mortgage rates are gonna make the housing market crash. Yes, there's a little bit of validity to that. It's gonna cool it down, but it's not gonna make it crash. What I'm encouraging home buyers to do right now is buy the house with less competition, and then a year from now, when we hit a recession and mortgage rates drop like they do in every recession, since the 1950s, you can refinance or rework your mortgage, saving hundreds of dollars a month. Let's close with this. Speaking of rates and recessions, when we hit a recession, I want you to think of opportunity. Do not think of 2008. Think of opportunity. Every single time we hit a recession, home value in America, home values continue to rise. Every time we hit a recession, mortgage rates continue to drop. It's a win-win for you as a consumer. If you have any questions, I want you to reach out to me. Make sure you focus on data and not drama like the media is going to present to you.